All right, so today I wanted to talk about the truth behind entry-level IT certifications because it's something that seems to be well, quite a big issue, honestly, when it comes to the world of information technology and trying to find your way into this field. You see, what happens often is somebody tells you, hey, go out and get your A-plus certification, your Net-plus certification, or your Security plus certification, or all three, and you're going to get a job in IT. And then I see constantly posts, I just got my A plus and I've been applying for jobs for the past three months and I can't get anything. Well, the truth behind specifically entry level IT certifications or any certification, honestly, is that it does not guarantee you a job. Like this is the flat out truth and maybe something that nobody has told you before, but maybe you're hearing it right now. A certification does not guarantee you a job ever. A certification does not guarantee you a job ever. Like that's just the truth of it. Those are the facts. A certification will be helpful just as much as a degree could be helpful to you achieving success in this field. But when it comes down to it, you're not guaranteed anything. And I know you're like, well, what's the point of going through getting the certification if it's not going to get you a job? Well, the pro tip or the thing here is that the certification is really helping you learn something new. It's an avenue that you can go down to achieve further knowledge. And it, help, it helps, you know, validate your knowledge, which is great. It's wonderful. And a lot of organizations and companies do appreciate that. And they do put a lot of value on certifications. However, it's no guarantee. There's no guarantees in life. And I've said this so many times before. So what is it that you can do to, you know, set yourself ahead? Like if a certification isn't a guarantee, what can you do, right? Well, go back to degrees. A degree is always going to be helpful, but again, that's no guarantee either. Networking, that could be helpful. The social networking with your connecting with people that you know and getting out on the social medias and creating blogs and things like that. Those are all great things that you can do to help you achieve success in this field, but they are not guaranteed. There are no guarantees. There's only things that you can do to improve yourself and increase your odds. Certifications are one of those things. And no, before you even say, well, if I get more certifications, that'll increase my odds. That's not the case. And that is not true at all. In fact, if you are somebody who's like, well, I've already gotten these three certifications, maybe I should go out and get my CISSP. And maybe I should go out and get my CCNA. And maybe I should go out and get my OSCP but you've never worked in the field. That's a red flag. It is, I'm sorry. Having a bunch of certifications, why, you know, well, it, it could look really good. In reality, it doesn't. If you never worked in the field and you have a bunch of certifications, that does not validate to me that you know what you're doing when it comes to this field. It validates to me that you understand the knowledge that you've learned from those certifications, but those certifications do not actually represent what we see and deal with in the real world of IT. Those certifications and the, the studying that you do around those things, they teach you a lot of things that you do within the world of IT, but it doesn't necessarily show you exactly what the real world looks like. And that's why it's not the best way to validate whether you are prepared for the real world. And that's why I am always a big proponent to encourage people to write blogs and document things and create videos even, showing people the things that you've done, the projects that you've worked on, the challenges that you've had working through understanding IT. All of that information is going to be extremely helpful for you. It, it's just stuff that can get you a step ahead. It's not a guarantee by any means, but it's helpful. Just like certifications are helpful, but there's no guarantee from them. And I could say this over and over and over again, but I want to drill that point home to you because so many of you get so frustrated. And I believe me, I get that. I understand that. I understand that you've paid $300, $400, $500 plus for a certification. And now you're struggling getting into IT. I get that. I understand that. And I apologize for that. And I apologize for everybody who's guided you down that direction and possibly giving you false hope and thinking that this was the way and it's the best way. It's a way. Maybe not the best way, but it's a way. And it can be successful for a lot of people out there. But it's not, you know, I won't say it again.
Anyway, the point of this video is the truth behind entry level IT certifications is that they're there to help you learn something new. They're there to give you more knowledge and to help validate that knowledge. And some employers do put a lot of weight into certifications and some don't. Same with degrees, same with experience. You know, it, it will always, always depend on the actual organization that is doing the hiring on whether or not they put a lot of weight into certifications or a little bit of weight into certifications. So if you're struggling to find your way into the field, you may just not have been applying to the right places and wait before you're like, oh, I just applied to 4,000 places. I, I've talked to many people like you before, if that's one of you, who have applied for literally thousands of jobs and haven't heard things back or you know maybe just didn't get the job. If you're applying for hundreds or thousands of jobs and you do not receive a call back, it's because your resume sucks, plain, simple, flat out, it sucks, I'm sorry. If you're literally applying for that many positions and you don't receive any type of communication back, that's typically the reason why. Now, if you do get a call back and you do get an interview and you go through hundreds of thousands of interviews, you may be struggling with that interview process. And if so, uh, there's a free course on TCM Academy that I put together a couple years ago that walks you through soft skills and going through the interview process. And it's absolutely free, like literally free dollars. It costs you nothing to go and take that, that class. It's like six, seven hours long. It has tons of information to help you out with the interview process, with resumes and all of that fun stuff to help you get a step ahead. And I would strongly suggest checking that out because again, it's free. And if you're looking to learn more like knowledge and get more hands on with things, because yeah, certifications are great and validating some of those things, but they don't actually get you hands on the keyboard doing all of the fun and cool things. And that's where anti-siphon training comes in. That's the company that I work for. Malware finds a way. If you like these shirts, we have more of them. But anyway, we do a lot of hands on training and I recommend that to everybody. Like, not just because I work there, but we, we do it for free. That's the other thing. Like, I really love giving away free stuff. Like, free stuff is awesome, especially when it's really good. But we do pay forward what you can training where you can pay zero dollars or you could pay $25 or whatever. And that goes forward to helping other people take that training as well. Because with all of our pay forward what you can training, you're following along hands on the keyboard in our virtual labs. We give you access to all of our virtual labs so you can do all the fun things and follow along and you don't have to worry about spinning anything up on your computer. So get your hands on the keyboard and do fun things and actually get like real experience with these tools. Come join us at Anti-Siphon Training. It's a lot of fun. I love what we do and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Like I, I legitimately love it and I get to do stuff like this and help people out and that's it. That's all I got for this video. So hopefully, uh, you're, you're, you find success in your journey. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Happy to help you out. As always, take it easy.